Hey guys, it's Borjon, and when Borjon is bored, Borjon likes to watch 90s commercials because it's the only way he can feel alive anymore. So this is, uh, the 90s are rad, a uh, channel we've watched almost every video on when it comes to these compilations of commercials. Um, this time we're watching Food Commercials Volume 1. Um, you know, because when you're hungry, the best thing to do is watch food commercials. Like, well, John, why are you watching this instead of eating? Well, because I already planned on doing this, and I don't like eating and recording, because then there's a chance, you know, blah, 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 around in the stomach, and then I had to get up and go to the bathroom. It's just... No. So, I'm going to do this first, and then eat. But this is food commercials, 90s food commercials. Cyclone, raspberry orange, and lemon lime. <laughs> down, boy. Down. <laughs> From good humor. I'm bored, Mom. Some special friends are in your grocery store. Uh-oh. Don't <laughs> gorge. Frozen treats? Those are good. Delicious Disney frozen treats made in the shapes of Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. You can taste the magic why, why? <laughs> of Disney frozen treats. Mickey, Donald, Goofy. In that order, like Kingdom Hearts, every single time it's Sora, Donald, Goofy. I'm Sora. This is Donald, and this is Goofy. Or when they're being greeted, Sora, Donald, Goofy, every time in that order. And now we have Mickey, Donald, Goofy. I'm sorry, but if I walked in and I saw Mickey or even, I love Goofy, but if I saw him standing there, I'd be a little concerned. Like, how is he standing here? Ah, uh, well, you just have to believe. If you believe in yourself, then anything can happen. Uh -huh. Or something, I don't know. I don't know. But also, why would they be working in a grocery store? It's freaking Mickey. If he would be anywhere, he'd be at Disney. I am your god! Ah! I just, I want to see Mickey, like, from the South Park episode with the Jonas Brothers, where he's not actually all nice and sweet. He, like, beats the crap out of them. That's, I mean, that's kind of what Mickey is now. Well, not Mickey, but Disney in general. You know, and this guise of family-friendly, but then they have their own personal agenda that they're trying to push. Yeah, it... Oh, boy. It's only a matter of time before things go down the route of what used to be satire. <laughs> Back in the day, when satire could be satire, I'm not even talking about the commercial, but now, satire has been blurred, parody's been blurred, Parody and, and real life have now merged into one. So, I mean, that's pretty pathetic. Huh? <laughs> New Fantastic Fruity! Five real fruit flavors! <laughs> hey, Baldy! Baldy! Popsicle! So -ho. From Good Humor. How about peanut butter for lunch? How about pizza swirls? Oh. Lunchables Pizza Swirls. Tasty pizza crust you can top yourself, even with... Chocolate frosting! Lunchables, make fun of lunch. I'll be right down. Those are really good. I just don't like the fact that they're always cold. You know, usually you got those for, like, you know, field trip or, or something like that. Even if you had it at lunch, just... You kept them in the refrigerator... So even by lunch, they were in your, uh, you know, your lunchbox. And even by the time you got to lunch, they were still cold. Everything, there was no way of heating anything up. Uh, and the crust, it was like thick. And it was cold. And the sauce was cold. The pepperoni, the cheese was cold. Uh, and it's just, it... I mean, I get the idea. You're supposed to be able to eat it, whether it's, you know, warmed up. But it's like... Why would, I mean, I don't know why people would buy th these in particular for, like, lunch when there's no way of heating them up. Like, the burgers and stuff like that. It's just, why? 
the chocolate one was fine with the M&Ms and everything, but it's just, for some reason, the crust being so thick and cold like that, it just put it off a little bit. It's hard to describe. If you know, if you've had it before, you know what I'm talking about. You know, it's fine if you're on a, like I said, a field trip or something. Uh, I, th I remember we went to the, I can't remember what beach it was. Um, well, it didn't, we weren't at the beach. We started the field trip and eventually led to the beach where we were looking like for shells and stuff. But I remember sitting on the bench there and it was cold out and I'm sitting here eating a cold Lunchables pizza. And I'm just like, this just, this doesn't seem right. Um, but if you, if you know what I'm talking about, let me know. Cause it's, it, it's hard to put into words how it's un, not unsettling, just off putting it is, especially when you have a crust that thick and you're kind of like, instead of just kind of like snapping it away, like you would expect like a cracker or something. It's just like, you know, it's just kind of like, it's, Okay, let me do it again. Is that E L? Is that a cow? Okay, just letters. Is that e L? Looks like a small cow. No, uh, there are no cows. Okay, let me, let me do it again. Okay. Is it a mammal? No. Not going anywhere for a while? Something with fur? No. Grab a Snickers, because nothing handles your hunger better. It's uh, one of those turny things that you keep in the drawer with the handle. Yeah. No. Hungry? Why wait? Snickers. They have pretty good uh, commercials. My favorite one is coming up soon. Not on here, but because of October. The Horseless Headsman. Favorite commercial that they've ever put out for Snickers. My favorite commercial. And it's so ridiculous. Especially the very, very, the, the extended version of it. Where the, you have the, uh, the Horseless Headsman, who is just a massive head with no horse. And then you have the Headless Horseman. But then at the end, you have the headless horse, man. It's a dude riding a headless horse. It, it's what it's my favorite uh, Snickers commercial, one of my favorite Halloween commercials. And it's just, I'll probably watch it soon enough because it's like, what? The 21st. So once we get into spooky month, I'll watch, I'll watch a bunch of like Halloween commercials and stuff. But yeah, Snickers, you, you're, you're not you when you're hungry. Grab a Snickers. I mean, it's good. And the frozen ones, those are really good. Although that's not, those aren't 90s. Those are 2000s, like what, late, not 2010s, I think. When did the frozen Snickers happen? The tour begins with the holding silos for the crunch berries. Wow, all berries. What's this? Don't do that. Do this. Imagine a cereal. Yeah. That's all, all crunch berries. Blue, purple, red, nothing but the awesomely sweet taste of old crunch berries. And what do you have to say for yourself? Oops. Cabin crunchers, oops, all berries. It's a delicious part of this balanced breakfast. Cabin. What's this? Oops. Huh? What the? <clears throat> You're such a brat, Bart. What? Yeah, you won't share your Butterfinger BB. So we're taking them. <gasps> Bite size. Damn <laughs> it, sir. No, Maggie, no. Groovy <laughs> <laughs> munchies, man. <laughs> Bag a bunch of crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery Butterfinger BBs. Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger BBs. <laughs> what happened to Butterfinger BBs? Are they. I don't. I. They clear, I think they went out, you know, like they don't, hang on. It says, removed from shelves in 2006. Wow. Uh, some lovers of this illusion go as far as petition for its return. Uh, a low melting point. I mean, that would make a lot of sense. I mean, you don't want to have something and then open the bag and just have it like this melted mess. Okay, so 2000, 2006, huh? Oh, the Cadbury Bunny. This class, this commercial is classic. Have you seen the uh, the European version? Oh, ho, ho. Uh, 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 oh, oh, uh, 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 oh, 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 o
That voice. And then I looked up who did the voice and I was like, Ugh. If you know, you know. Something more cuddly. Yeah. Bigger. <laughs> Friendlier, maybe. Thank you. Not quite what we had in mind, yes. Everyone wants to be the Cadbury Bunny. Because only he brings Cadbury cream eggs with their delicious milk chocolate outside and creamy filling. While others may keep trying, there's only one Cadbury Bunny, and no bunny knows Easter better than him. Cadbury, uh, the eggs used to be amazing. I tried, I had them not too long ago, like last Easter, and they're just, they're smaller, the inside is like a goopy mess, and it's just, they're, you know, like the eggs used to be like this big, now they're like half the size. It's just, it's ridiculous. Um, uh, but they were so good, like, even though they're a lot worse, my friend, every time they go, you know, on sale after, like, Easter, she just buys all of them. She doesn't care how many there are. She loves Cadbury eggs. Um, <clears throat> the Reese's Reese's, it just basically tastes like generic peanut butter. Uh, there's the cookies and cream, uh, which just tastes like, they say Oreos, but it's just cookies and cream. It, it doesn't taste like Oreos. They're not very, the, the peanut butter one is okay. But the, uh, yeah, the Cadbury eggs, they used to be like really big. Now they're like, this size and you know the <clears throat> the inside did used to look like an egg now it's just like this mixed goopy you know you try to bite into it it's like down your hand and <clears throat> you know if you're in public and you're trying to just have it as a like a, you know then your hands are all freaking sticky because it's, it's all over your hands and just <laughs> you're tearing me apart cadbury eggs Cream save us from life save us. Strawberries and cream. Orange and cream. Flavors together. Lasting forever. Cream save us. Crunch. Crunch bar, 1997. 96 was good, but 97? Remarkable. Isn't it? Nestle Crunch. It's just more fun to munch. Dunkaroos is the cookie you drunk for as much frosting as you want. So how do you do your Dunkaroos? It's super duper deep dunk. something you want, young man? Yeah! Honeycomb! Post honeycomb cereal is part of this nutritious breakfast. Yeah. Where will you be when the craving strikes? This program is made possible in part by a grant from Juicy Juice. Juicy Juice. 100% juice for 100% kids. Kid Cuisine presents BJ and the Chef. Mom, there's nothing to eat. Let's go. Time for Kid Cuisine. How about a Kid Cuisine dinner? Chicken nuggets. Just for you. 
Hey, kids, Pinocchio is now at theaters. And you can play with this awesome Pinocchio game board at home. Free. Only inside freshly marked boxes of kid cuisine. You can play with one or collect all four. I won! Began with a nut and a bolt that shook his tongue. Kid cuisine. That stuff was great. It was great. And you know, and you always, it, even with TV dinners in general, you know what's that you want to eat first, but you're not able to, unless you're an adult, then you're not a, no one's holding you back. Cause you know, you want to eat that brownie or have that pudding first, but then you try to go for it and your mom's walking by the, to get hit the kitchen table. And she's like, if you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. Uh, and you're like, but, but I'm not hungry is I don't care. You're going to fucking eat. It's either you eat now or yeah, you go to bed hungry. Now there are some cases where that was fine, like fish sticks and all. It's I hate fish sticks. Frozen fish sticks are nasty. Like actual fish, you know, fresh, unprocessed. You know, you go to a restaurant and they have that fit. Yeah, that's fine. It depends also what fish it is. I don't. I just don't like that. You know that seafood taste you know it's like calamari i don't mind calamari and i used to eat it all the time but only like the really smaller pieces because when they're big and thick it just tastes too much like fish i hate that taste not to mention it ends up really really chewy so not only do you get that nasty fish taste but you're saying like for like 20 minutes because it's such a big chewy piece um but kid cuisines, yeah. You know, chicken nuggets and uh what were the other ones? Um God. I think we guys just got mostly out the chicken nugget ones, because they're just Yeah, we got that one. Remember the pizza one. Hamburger pizza. I think they had a regular pizza one, which was it was okay. Corn dog. I, I think we had the corn dog. Uh, beef patty and cheese. Yeah, I remember that one. I think we had the mini corn dogs. Um, ugh, deep sea adventure. Ugh, 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 ugh. Um, Maybe the spaghetti one was around. Mac and cheese, maybe. But yeah, I remember getting the um the chicken nuggets and the pizza one a lot. Pat with a jolt. Pee-pee crisp an idea for a munch. But with graham cookie outside for crunch. Inside a center so sweet. Peanut butter cream. Oh, a treat. A taste so enormously grand. Made to fit in the palm of your hand. Pee-pee crisp, pee crisp, pee crisp. Peanut butter cream is the name of the dream. Pee-pee crisp, pee crisp, pee crisp. The sweet taste that is destined for fame. New pee crisps from planters. It's peanut butter with a crunch. Another one I think was discontinued because I don't see those anymore unless they've been rebranded or new packaging or something. I don't think those are around either. Let me to the internet. They released in 92 and were discontinued in 95. I remember them being out a lot longer than that, though. Maybe it's just, you know. Being your memory of being a kid, you have a terrible sense of time. I remember them in the late 90s, though. Huh. Interesting. Kids go all out for the great taste of Pop-Tarts. Well, now there's another great reason to get Pop-Tarts. Introducing new metallic Pokemon battle figures. One in each specially marked package for a limited time only. Pokemon and Pop Tarts, catch them all. Push up! Dabba A yabba, dabba, a dabba do. Yeah, Flintstones push ups, that's what's cool. Push ups, Flintstones push ups. A modern Stone Age Sherbert tree. A taste right out of his dog brain. Push up! This is a six. A booty flavor! Wilma, too. Make every bite more fun for you. Push-ups, 
Um, what was I going to say about, yeah, I, I, I talked about it last time because they had the same commercial. You know, normally I agree with Pizza Hut because I love Pizza Hut. But then you have instances like this where it's, they try to make it seem like it's bigger, but all they did was stretch it out. But then if you, if you bring it back in, it's just the size of a normal pizza. You know, and they're like, oh, there's 20 slices, but all the slices are only about that big. You know, it's like, why, you know, if you're going to make a bigger pizza, you know, it's okay to make like a 24 inch pie. I mean, when I worked at uh, my first job was a pizzeria, we had a 24 inch pie. Each slice was 12 inches long. It was a foot of, of a pizza. So if you're going to say it's a bigger and whatever, make it bigger. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a lot more costly, but it, it again, they, you take the pie, it's like this long, but only about that wide. You stretch, you know, push it back. It's just, it's the size of regular pie. So, I mean, if you're going to do it, then do it. Again, 24 inch pies aren't very, un, aren't uncommon. Uh, so they could have made a 24 inch pie. I think it's like, what, 12 inch pie that they have? Even if it wasn't 24, even if it wasn't 24. They still could have done uh, like 16, 18 inches of, uh, you know, inch pizza, which again, it might be a little more costly, but you know, I mean, were they able to do stuff crust that way? Because at least then if they had a bigger pie, like an 18 inch pie, they could still do stuff crust. I just, I don't see why they marketed this the way it did, why they, you know, why they did. Cause it's just, it's just the same size pizza just stretched out. 20 pieces and yet they're like a lot smaller so it's uh normally i agree with pizza hut but this was really stupid for the holidays so hurry and get your claws on them kellogg's rice crispy streets in a box a word of advice once you've satisfied your craving for the chew marshmallowy, homemade taste of Kellogg's Rice Krispie Street Squares. The craving could return. <laughs> For more was Carrie's Fair, Kellogg's Rice Krispie Street in a box. Got a crazy. And action. Romeo, Romeo, where shalt thou Romeo? Again, please. Again? Again. Board? Yeah. Step into a Slim Jim. <laughs> Turn to the spice. That baby juicy taste. Need a little excitement. Step into a Slim Jim. Oh, Macho Man, Randy Savage. The world is is less bright with that man in it. That man was a legend. Him, Miss Elizabeth, you know, God, wow. I was like, I remember when, you know, when I heard that he had died, I was like, what? What? Him, his, his freaking feud, feud and rivalry, uh, rivalry with Hulk Hogan. And, but that man had such style. I mean, anyone else tried to pull off that like flamboyant cowboy look, uh, probably wouldn't have been able to pull it off, but he did it. Because if you said anything, he could crush your head with his biceps. 
Um, but that voice, it's like you got so used to hearing that voice that when you actually heard his real voice, you're like, no, no, no. This is like, you know, hearing Gilbert Gottfried's real voice or, or uh, you know, so used to hearing Pat Morita's uh, Mr. Miyagi voice that when you hear him actually talk, it's like, no, 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 this this isn't this. I'm, well, I'm being bamboozled. Um, but he was... Uh, I'm a macho man. Macho man. Whoa, a genie! A sprinkle genie! I wish we had sprinkles for breakfast! Hey, you wish it? I wish it! My new sprinkle spangles! A sprinkled cereal? Yeah, sprinkle spangles is the part of this complete breakfast that spangles from every angle with sprinkles! Hmm, wish we had a whole truckload of this! Hey, you wish it! I dish it! New Sprinkle Spangle cereal. It's every kid's wish come true. And it wasn't that great. It was just, like, kind of bland. It didn't really taste like anything. The sprinkles didn't really add anything. It was just sprinkles. So. You may not understand everything that comes out of his mouth, but with Sunny Delight, at least you understand what goes in it. To him, it's good. To you, it's good for him. What's not to understand? Sunny Delight, the good stuff kids go for. <laughs> loved i still do i love surge love it if i ever have you know whenever i have a chance to actually get it hmm. or rather i should say not like in stores because i don't think it's in stores anymore um but i see it in like you know if i happen to go the rare occasion i go to fast food places you know a lot of times they have it in there and you know the, the soda fountains yeah, yeah, I get it. I still love it. I still love Surge. I mean, it, it's not much different than any other of its kind. It's just, it's just something about it. I don't know. Maybe it's the whole, you know, fast food thing of it. It's like Coke or Pepsi in fast food places. It's just, for some reason, it just tastes better. Um, But yeah, Surge loved it. Loved it. And it's a shame that you don't really see it. Um... There are still places to get it, like I said, in like fast food places you can find it, but as for like uh, actual cans, I don't think you can find those anymore. So I guess really the only way might be to just go to fast food places. Just go and order a soda, you know, small soda and fill it with Surge. There you go. You get your Surge fill. Happy holidays, Dave. Same to you, Red. I think you'll find this spicy chicken sandwich spicier than yours. <laughs> it's not bad. But remember this? Wendy's spicy chicken is seasoned with Dave's own blend of pepper and spices for that spicy hit you crave. So? So you got any more in the bag? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Right. Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich. It can warm up anybody. Hey, hey, jingle bells, jingle. I've been dancing all my life, and to do it right takes 100%. It's not just eating right or exercise. It's the way it all comes together. It's the total effect. And for me, it starts with total. No other leading cereal gives you 100% of 10 vitamins and minerals to help you feel healthy, vital, and alive. Because putting 100% in here could have a total effect on what you do out there. Total. Total Raisin Bran. Total Corn Flakes. Get the total effect. There's something new inside Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pasta from Chef Boyardee. I get to be, uh, I get to be Michelangelo. Radical, dudes. It still has the turtles. Well, I want to, I get to be Donatello. Cowabunga! But now it also has... New Teenage Mutant Ninja 
Ninja Turtles versus the Shredder with a new thicker sauce. Thank goodness for Yeah, I remember those. I also the Shredder man, James Avery, otherwise known as Uncle Phil. Yeah, a lot of people don't know he did the voice of Shredder in a cartoon. Go back and listen to Shredder, and you're like, oh my god, it is Uncle Phil. It's Shredder in his retirement years. He settled down, became a black, successful black man, and had a family. He decided that being a, you know, evil Japanese guy was just not working for him, so he became a successful black man. And starred in one of the most amazing TV shows ever to grace our, uh, our, our, our TV sets. Uh, Uncle Phil. That man was... That man was like a father to people who didn't have fathers. I mean, I, I had a father, but like... You know... You know, people talk about that kind of stuff where it's like, oh, well... You know, some people didn't have a great upbringing, but... You know, you see a lot of people. You know, Uncle Phil, uh, Carl Winslow, they were like, these guys were my father when I didn't have one. Because they instilled, like, morals and, and hard work and, you know... Don't let anything hold you back from achieving what you want to do. You know? Uh, James Avery, though. This hip this video is just freaking nostalgic for the wrong reasons. Just reminding me of all the great people who have died. are leaving their old channel behind and moving home to join a new network for kids. It's WB. To celebrate, get one collector milk cup. We inside Smith, we mark packages of Kool-Aid Bursts. And get ready for Kids WB. Wow. Wow. Okay, that was 90 food commercials. Let's see. I think I've watched all of his. Let me go through again and let's see. We're at 30 minutes. Probably watch like one more, but like a shorter one. So hang on. All right, we'll just watch uh, volume two. Some of them, like he has a playlist and just some of them aren't listed on the playlist. So um, yeah, we'll just do it this way. We'll just, we watched volume one. So we'll just watch volume two. Kraft Macaroni and Cheese presents Super Mario Brothers. Batman and Robin, the movie, is now in 
invading your favorite Kellogg's Pop-Tarts with Batman and Robin, Batgirl, and Mr. Freeze Sprinkles, straight from Gotham City to your toaster. Double, Crappy movie, but it, it, those were pretty good. I think I remember the Mr. Freeze ones. Those were actually pretty good. <laughs> those movies, though, those were horrible. They were terrible. Freaking Mr. Freeze and his terrible ice puns. I get it. Mr. Freeze. And, you know, Uma Thurman is freaking Poison Ivy. Mmm. Mmm. Terrible gum. Terrible gum. Like, it... It tasted fine for, tw like, 10 seconds, and then it lost all flavor. And also, I think I remember, it almost had, like, this powder on it, because it wasn't, like... Or, like, they all have, like, a powder-type thing, or, like, a powdered look. But it was just excessive on this. But you chew it, and for, like, 20 seconds, and taste is gone. You know, and for the fruity flavors, it just... It was like, oh my god, this tastes really good. 20 seconds later, it's like, I'm regretting all my life choices. So, I mean, I don't... It was targeted towards kids, but it's like, they could have made the taste last a little longer. Because even if you're not... And it's like really slow chewing, and, you know, you're just kind of keeping it there on one side of your mouth. And it's just, the flavor disappeared so freaking quickly. Like, at least with other gum, you know, like mint gum flavor lasts a little longer but for this stuff it's just like as soon as you put it in your mouth it's like boom gone gone the enjoyment is no longer there and then you're just kind of like you know it, it was so bad. Actually, I should. I think they still have it. I think they have it at Dollar General, like right there in the front. And I should be like, I was like, maybe I should get it again to see if it's changed. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Nothing quenches your thirst and puts back fluids and minerals better than Gatorade. I knew I was the guy. Ready to blow the old lunch bag away. Introducing the 
introduce some new lunch Miss Taco Bell tacos and nachos. The real fiesta fixes for making your own tacos and nachos. And there's no need to heat them. New Lunchables Taco Bell tacos and nachos. Make fun of lunch. Thanks, dude. First of all, was that was that Jim Cummings? It sounded like Jim Cummings. Second, that that was also what I was talking about with the before, how it's like, oh, well, you can you don't you know you can eat it cold. It just it was so weird. It's like you make tacos, right? You put the meat in the refrigerator to you know, and then it all because of the grease and everything, it just kind of like binds together. That's kind of like what this was. It was just like cold meat you know everything is cold and yeah it's meant to feed you but it just it has this off-putting you know feeling like this this flavor sometimes where you're not getting the full flavor of it because it's not being you're not able to heat it up some flavors like taco i mean have you ever had cold taco meat like you just like people with mayonnaise jars for some reason eating mayonnaise out of the jar you have the taco meat and you just kind of like try to scoop it up and it's still all like coagulated because it's been chilled and, and you, it's okay the flavor's not there though and then you heat it up and then all that grease melts and mingles with all everything again and becomes really really good again well that's kind of like what this is it was just like passable as tacos because you weren't really able to heat it up I guess they figured, oh, it's for kids, so they're not going to care. Well, sir, sir and or madam, we do care. We do care. Did care. Did We did care as kids. Nowadays, we're buying them for our kids, in which case we don't care anymore. But when we were eating them, when we were eating them, and I'm lying, I don't have any kids. I don't have any kids. So... I don't have to worry about buying cold Lunchables for them. I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. And I like it that way. This just in, a new development in the Oreo O's and milk crisis. A summer celebration of red, white, and blue on every Oreo O. For expert analysis, we go to Scott. Scott? Now, for another opinion, Daisy? Well, there you have it. Good news for kids, bad news for cows. Red, white, and blue Oreo O's. Part of a complete breakfast. That's kind of creepy. I was expecting him to be like, let's green eggs and ham it. Reference that probably no one is going to understand. New sprinklers, candy coated ice cream. Fetch, Duke. Nice throw, Doofus. Popsicle zone. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, blast off with Sour Blast. It's the tangiest, sourest, blastiest fruit drink ever. It's Sour Blast. Go ahead, pucker up for green apple, grape, cherry, and orange. Ooh, that's sour. So tell your mom to blast Woo. off. Head to the store for Sour Blast fruit drink. And blast your mouth off. Mom, can I? to the NBA. Ah! Ah! Practice. If you 
want a refreshing drink? Obey your thirst. Sprite. Yeah, Sprite's my go-to. Whenever I go out, whether to a restaurant or, you know, fast food, you know, rare occasion. It's been like two, three years since I've had fast food. Um, or if I'm at the, you know, Dollar General and I want a soda, I always get Sprite. And if they don't have Sprite, Sierra Mist, whatever the clear one is. So, yeah, I just, Sprite, I just prefer. I just prefer Sprite, Sierra Mist, whatever it is, and... You know, also you can mix it with, you know, flavors and it doesn't taste so bad. Like, have you ever gone to uh, Sonic and you can add like flavors in? My friend uh, always gets Dr. Pepper with chocolate and strawberry flavoring. I said, you should try Sprite. She's like, no, that sounds gross. I'm like, does it? I said, you know, you get Dr. Pepper, which has a very distinct flavor. Sprite, there's a flavor, but it's not as prominent as Dr. Pepper. So she tried it. She's like, yeah, it was really, really good. I'm like, told you, told you. I was like, why do you do this? Why do you knock everything I tell you to try? And then you try it. And then it's like peanut butter chicken. I told her, you know, we went to a Chinese buffet, had peanut butter chicken. She's like, oh, that sounds freaking disgusting. I said, don't knock it till you try it. And then she had it. And then it was like a pregnancy craving. She just wanted peanut butter chicken. She's like, so um, are we going to the Chinese buffet? I'm like, you want peanut butter chicken? She's like, I'm like, told you. I told you it was freaking good. But yeah, Sprite, you know, you can, you know, if you go to Sonic and do get those flavorings, tell me what you get. Uh, but yeah, she, Dr. Pepper with chocolate and strawberry flavoring. But I tried, I uh, told her try Sprite because it's, you know, it's not as overpowering as a flavor as Dr. Pepper. And you can, pretty much taste everything a lot more she tried it she really liked it i said this is why you don't knock things i tell you to try because believe it or not john knows things i mean i know i i know i come across as a bit of a dumb dumb uh but john knows things a lot more than he lets on which is actually kind of scary for some people but you know don't knock it till you try it cheeseburgers it's been documented are irresistible now you can eat them whenever you want new cheeseburger bagel bites bite-sized burgers on wholesome little bagels i gladly pay you tomorrow for a bagel bite today new cheeseburger or original mm. pizza bagel bites whenever you want mm. Pterodactyl man, I'm the tickler. <laughs> what? We need the chocolatiest tasted cereal in the world to beat them. Can't say that's my cocoa pebble. Mm, more chocolatey than all the others to fight crime. Honey, <laughs> I'm old over. Post cocoa pebble cereal, part of this complete breakfast. Now you can get French car free, only from pebbles. A hot wheels sprint mobile. Wow, it changes colors. Walk free with mailing card on mark boxes of pebbles. Look, no Nestle Quick Cookies and Cream. Zillions of chocolate cookie crumbs. Yeah, crumbs. While cookies led the sweet life. We got the brush off. We were a joke. What a crummy life. See what I mean? But thanks to Nestle Quick, our good taste shows through. And it's Nestle Quick Cookies and Cream. Let's milk this opportunity. Crumbs away. You're creating quite a stir. Mmm, and it tastes like cookies. Drink a cookie. Quick. It's the Cookie Crisp Cookie Counter, making sure there's lots and lots of little chocolate chip cookie cereal in every box of Cookie Crisp. Lots for us! Cookie Crisp! Oh no! Oh, oh, not you two again! Lots and lots and lots. Lots of little chocolate chip cookies, and it's part of a balanced breakfast, too. Yes, lots and lots of little chocolate chip Now inside specially marked boxes of Cookie Crisp, get a free sample of Nestle Quick Cookies and Cream. No, it tasted nothing like cookies. Also, people forget that there were, you know, other mascots apart from the, the wolf or whatever it has now. Uh, it's just kind of bland. Uh, but, but yeah, back then they had those characters. And, but <laughs> Cookie Crisp was so bad. It said it tastes like cookies. It didn't. It didn't taste anything like cookies. It was bad.
bad. I don't know if it's different. Don't know, don't care. Not gonna try it. Because cereal cereal's expensive now. What's hot about oatmeal swirlers? You can give it a swirl, man. Swirl on maple brown sugar. Squeeze on strawberry. Because swirls just wanna have fun. Oatmeal swirlers. It's all kinds of fun. A part of this complete breakfast. Go on. You can give it a swirl. Oatmeal. People might diss it, but I love oatmeal. I love it. Still down. Cookie, um, not cookies and cream. <laughs> Just we had the cookies and cream thing. Uh, peaches and cream, strawberries and cream. Those are my, probably the top. Um, apple, you know, cinnamon apple. Really, really good. Uh, when they introduced the dinosaur eggs, those were really, really good. Um, quick, easy, tastes really good. Uh, of course, you know, making your fresh, you know, like fresh oatmeal. If you have, you know, the, the oats and everything, and you just make it yourself, it's really good. Um, oatmeal with a little bit of banana, some raisins, strawberry. It's really, really good. Really, really good. Um, like I said, even now, I don't mind a bowl of oatmeal. You know, getting old and everything. It's easier on my jaw. But yeah. Volume two. Yeah, so what well, we have 50 minutes. Yeah, we'll, th we'll probably stop here. You know, it's, it's hard because it's like you, you don't want to talk too much and you just want to watch, but then it's like basically it's just like no different than like copyright infringement where you're just, you're not adding anything, you know, <laughs> where people just take it and upload and be like, oh yeah, this is my content now. No, it, it needs to be, be transformative. In my case, for nostalgia reasons, you know, I sit there and I can talk about things that I remember about that time or whatever. And it becomes transformative. So that way, if I get hit with a copyright strike, it's usually because of the music, which I can go out, you know, I go into and just uh, erase the music. So. But yeah, that's why if people don't like the stopping and talking. Well, I mean, if you want to watch it without the commentary, it's already here. The reason you're watching this is for the commentary, you know, about the nostalgia and hearing stories about, you know, the individual when they were living in the 90s. So that's why I can take a 10 minute video and make it or two 10 minute videos and make it into a, almost an hour long. Uh, just because, you know, you can't just sit there and watch it. You have to commentate. You got to add some commentary. But, um, yeah, yeah, 90s, this was a really sad, a sad video because it just reminded me of all the great people who have died. James Avery, Macho Man, Dave Thomas. Oh, my God. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.